So today we're going to candle my duck eggs. Um, I was going to wait a few more days to do it, but a stench coming from my laundry room where I keep my incubators kind of forced my hand and I, I know that if I got if I get that stinky one out then I'll be protecting the others because if it if it explodes it's going to contaminate the rest of my hatch and as I have discussed before if you've been watching my videos I plan on putting these duck eggs up underneath some chickens that are broody in my hen house so what I'm going to do today is show you um, what they look like a week's worth of development by eight nine days and um, I'll show you what the good ones look like and then what some of the early ones the early demise one looks like and I'm gonna turn the light off because you want to do with your uh, with the lights off so you can see the egg more clearly and we'll show you the difference between the two you can actually see the babies moving oh my gosh they're so cute already but there's a definite difference between a developing egg one that hasn't developed at all and then one that um, started off and then passed away very early. So let's get to it. All right. I've got my egg candler here. First, I'm going to show you what normal development looks like. You can see, hopefully, you can see the veins. Oh, mercy. Let's try this again. And then right there is, um, you can see there's the baby right there. I don't know if you can see it moving around a little bit, but there's a network of veins and it kind of floats around and sometimes you can see the baby moving. It's so hard to get on video, but you should see veins, kind of like a placenta. All right, and then let's see if I can find one. This one, you can see there's just a ring there where that indicates early demise of the developing baby. All right, and then there's another line over there. There's no baby developing here anymore. And then here's another one. There's just a red line. One I've got where, oh, that one right there. There's just a red line around the bottom of, um, so hard to see on camera. There's a, line, a red line there. You've got your lighter part here, and then you've got your darker up here, and right in the middle is a red line showing fetal demise. There's another one where you can see right there, there's kind of like a blood clot. The, the little duckling passed away. And then here's one where there's just nothing. There should be a spot in there, kind of a floaty thing going on. And there's just no development at all. You, there's some hay on there because they were a little dirty when I got them. But anyway, this one just shows no veins, no spot no development, there's no red line because it just never developed at all and then demised. It was just not a healthy egg to begin with. So there we go. And then we're going to do what's called an egg topsy on these where we can open, up, open them up and see what they look like on the inside. If you're squeamish, you might want to walk away right now. But I'm going to show people what the insides look like. I'm not going to open up a viable one that's growing because those are my babies. But I'm going to show you what the inside looks like. Um, so that you can, I mean this is what a lot of people do, trying to figure out what went wrong and sometimes you just can't know but it helps you to verify like I'm not throwing away a good egg um, if you open it up and you can see that there's no development in there at all. So we're going to do that next. So there's a saying that if you know what the genuine article looks like then you can tell a counterfeit very easily. And so what you need to do is pay real close attention to what the healthy ones look like, the ones that are just clear, that you can just really see. And then you'll see the difference with the eggs that have just, they don't look right. They don't have the defined uh, embryo growing in there. Um, they don't have that network of veins that's very apparent. And they, they might just look a little cloudy or like there's 
it just looks like a separation where the top is really thick and the bottom just looks clear that's not going to look like a normal developing egg so what you want to do is just get used to looking at the ones that you know very very obvious um, when you especially when you can see the baby moving around and then if the other ones don't look like that you want to verify with an egg topsy and take a look if you're not sure grit your teeth and you know you don't want a bad egg in there to explode and hurt the rest of them so this is something you need to do to um, ensure the the success of the other ones hatching so i hope that helps uh, leave me any comments down in the comment section and if this is helpful to you please hit the like button and let us know and we'll make sure that we do more videos like this take care